Translators do more than translate. I know that, you know that, because we're translators. You don't need some smart-ass academic to come around and tell you something you know. If you're short of work one week, you can do something the next. You can do editing, you can do a bit of teaching, uh, you can get your communication skills and start writing promotional texts or give some advice to international companies. We can do a whole lot of things. Translators always have. If I go back in history, Martin Luther defending himself. Are they doctors? So am I. Are they theologians? So am I. Are they translators? So am I. We've always been able to do much more. Why? Because we have these skills, these communication skills that operate in many languages and can be used for many, many things. Now, why is it important to stress this fact? First is in training. The skills we give people in training, the skills in translation and in interpreting, can be used and are being used for a whole lot of different things. Only about a third of our graduates actually go out and work for any substantial time as translators or interpreters. They're going out and doing those other things. We should be aware of it in our training. Secondly, and more important, our codes of ethics, and here I'm talking about the Australian AUSIT Code of Ethics and the Code of Ethics for the New Zealand Society of Translators and Interpreters. I happen to be in Auckland, New Zealand at the moment, and my thanks to the university for the facilities. These codes of ethics rigorously restrict a mixing of roles. When you are translating and interpreting, you do not engage in any side conversations, you don't get into any advocacy, you don't get into any advice, you don't promote any one side. Okay, that's part of what translation is. But translators do much more than translate. And I really want to suggest that our codes of ethics and our teaching and the way we describe and think about the profession have to embrace that wider sphere. Now, I think it's correct to have a narrow view of translation, as in the codes of ethics. But I think we have to know when it should be applied. And at the FIT conference in Brisbane, I'll tell you when that will be.